Well, hello, and how are you doing? I hope you're having a good day today, and I want to thank you for watching. You know, I have an itch in the middle of my back, and I got to tell you, it's just driving me crazy, and no one is here to scratch it for me, so I guess I'll have to do it myself. How? Well, I can't, you know, I can't reach the spot with my hands, but I did find something that can help me take care of the itch. Have you ever seen one of these? It's what looks like fingers at the other end. Let's see if you can see that. So it's kind of like a hand. So let me, let me show you how this works, okay? Oh, that just feels so good. See, I, could, I was able to reach it with, this, with these fingers, this, this hand. You know, so excuse me a moment while I, while I do it again. Oh, oh, that just, that feels wonderful. Well, this is a back scratcher and it, it's like a helping hand, you know? It's like a helping hand that goes beyond my own reach. And, you know, as I scratch my back, it, the thought occurs to me that there are many times in life when we need help doing things. We just can't do them alone. So we need, sometimes we just need help. For example, when we get sick. I mean, and we get really sick, you know, more than just a cold. But if we get really sick, we can go to the doctor and the doctor can help us. Or maybe, you know, maybe we are trying to learn something new like arithmetic or, you know, a math problem and we just can't figure it out on our own. Well, so we get help from a teacher or someone else that understands math. Or maybe, maybe we have our arms just full of you know, full of groceries or maybe books or boxes and we can't open the door? Well, we need someone to open the door for us and they can, they can give us a, a, real, a helping hand. So sometimes we can't do what we want to do, so we need help. Maybe, maybe someone you know can't do something without help. Well, if someone needs help, we can be like this back scratcher right here when it comes to helping someone else because there's always someone who needs help. So we can open a door for someone whose arms are full of with groceries or, or books or whatever. Or maybe someone doesn't feel good. And even though we might not be a doctor, maybe we can still find a way to help them. Okay, or maybe someone needs help with arithmetic, you know, with math, a math problem. Well, we might be able to help that person. So we can do something for someone that cannot do it for themselves. And that's what our faith teaches us. In the Bible, it says that our people must learn to spend time doing good deeds in order to provide for real needs. And when we do this, we're like this back scratcher. We can do for others what they can't do for themselves. And how do we do this? With love. So let us pray. Dear God, for helping hands, ours and others, we are thankful. Amen. Well, listen, thank you again for watching. And remember, we can always be a helping hand, kind of like this back scratcher. And I hope, I hope that you have a great day. So, so long until next time.